quite compares to the feeling of watching lives transformed before your own eyes. This is Airtel Touching Lives and we say welcome. In our main story, we meet with Rebecca Kwapong and her family in Asasawa. But before then, we take a look at Sacramento's story from Touching Lives Season 1. Sacramento comes from the Volta region. It was his daughter, Helen, that brought him to our attention. First of all, I want to know about your life here. I came here when I was in retirement and was looking for a place to settle at home. You're on retirement? Yes. What are you doing now that you're here home? As it is everywhere in Ghana now, the children no longer go to school as it was when we were children. When we were in primary school, by the time you got to P4, you could read. But now the children pretend to be going to school. The teachers also pretend to be teaching. And I thought I could help a little by organizing the children to learn to read. Why do you do it? I think children grow up without any aim. I don't think any human being living without being able to read, without knowing about the world, without knowing about themselves, is, is pitiful. And it's also affecting the, the, the village, our towns, our country, because you can't think. Yeah. So once a child can read, and you you make the child through reading find that he can think and create things for themselves, then they can help build themselves up and build the country, their village. Yeah, that's what I think I can do. Why do you think you deserve to be helped? My life has been a struggle all the time since I married. I married happily. But with my wife's sickness, life has not been easy. I put in my best. I had to struggle, borrow money. Sometimes even on Christmas, New Year, day, I had to hunt for food for us to eat. And it was difficult, but I felt it was my responsibility. And I'm just trying to use my gratuity to be a but I'm still looking at children in school, my sister's children. Ahead of all the great things you're doing, and the Zane's Touching Life team has decided to help you in your course as well. So just turn your attention to this side quickly. There you go! We realize that you have all these children under your care. We've given you some books so you can give it to these children. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've also given you living room furniture. <laughs> so, what are you going to put all this stuff? The head, you are putting up a house yes. and you've been putting a lot of your gratuity into it. Zane's Touch and Life team decided to give you a little help so you can have a place to put all this stuff. Okay, so just turn your attention to this and see what we're doing. <laughs> Sacramento, we are constructing your house for you. <laughs> Thank you. Sacramento, the man who is a hero to his children, joins us on Touching Lives. How are you doing, Sacramento? Very fine. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. So how is life treating you? Fine. I should say, yeah, very fine. And how is the house going? It has been completed. 
Gas? Yes. Thanks to, <laughs> thanks to touching lives. Thanks to touching lives. The library is fine. There are books there. The children come when they are free. The children are actually interested. Okay. And they are, they are happy there's a library around. Even children in the central village and the bigger town, they, they, they are interested. So now your library has become the hub for all those yes. children, not just in your community, but of course, the whole town. That's amazing. That really is amazing. When you look into the future, what are the plans that you have for yourself? I know I've lived by Ghanaian standards a long time. <laughs> yeah, and I, but I hope to live a bit more, uh -huh. a bit longer. And I still want to have an NGO which should be helping children in our localities, especially the villages, so that they can always get interested in reading. People say reading makes a man, but writing makes a greater man. Yeah. So when they read, they get interested in books and they want to write. That's, that's my intention. Congratulations, you're doing a great job with the children. And I'm sure Edsa will offer you all the support that you need to make your dreams come true. Thank, 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 thank. Sacramento, indeed, a hero to his children and really to every other child in his community. Edsa Touching Lives continues right after this break. Touching Lives. understand the importance of coverage in your life. That's why we're doing our part to get you well covered. With thousands of towns and cities under our coverage, we keep covering Ghana like no other. Join the fastest growing network in Ghana. Airtel. Feel free. Touch your life. Welcome back to Airtel's Touch and Life. Now, Rebecca's story will throw you off balance. Not even my colleague AC was spared. Just watch this. For many of us, life is full of choices. We often have difficulties choosing between schools. We worry over which type of makeup or perfume to wear. Choosing between brands for our homes become major headaches. The choice to become a wife or a mother naturally takes time to settle on. Rebecca, however, had no forewarning of what was about to turn her life over. She had no time to choose or get used to the idea of motherhood when she herself was barely an adult. Asasawa is a market town in the eastern region. It is here that Lano and Yumute conspire to bring Rebecca's flight to the Airtel Touching Lives team. Together, they wrote the letter that brought her situation to our attention. Good morning, Samuel. Good morning. Yes. How are you? Fine, thank you. How's the year coming along so far? Oh, very good. How do you know Rebecca? Rebecca is my cousin, my mother's younger brother's daughter. Why did you nominate her? I have nominated Rebecca and the brothers and sisters simply because I realized they needed help. Their parents were hardworking and they left them without any message. The sudden loss of both parents was a blow and I was not in the capacity to help them. Nobody was willing to help them. That is how come I nominated them for them to be helped. How was Rebecca like before? She lost her parents. She was in school until that thing happened. I'm seeing her to be very responsible because sometimes she does what a mother will have to do. And I see her to be a very good woman. How is Rebecca handling her responsibility as mother of the family? For now, she has no job. But then she is trying in her capacity as an elder sister, advising, taking care, washing the children's clothing, going to the village to fetch foodstuffs, from the late father's farm to be prepared for the family. I have my mom over there. Whenever she's needed, she also assists. 
all of us assist. If I'm in the capacity to help in terms of school fees, I do that. If I don't have, I see my mom. If she doesn't, I fall on friends. What do you want for her? Rebecca, for instance, she pursued a program, vocational school. And with that, I believe she has some skills. I will want her to be helped in order to realize that dream. Get her some maybe financial assistance to put up some shop where she'll be preparing meals and other stuff so that with that she could get some money in taking care of the young ones. to see you. Where are your siblings? They are just sitting down there. Oh, okay. Can I sit here with you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Can you tell me about your family? We are five in our family. That's my late parents' children. That's I someone call you Magda, Yima and Gosme, which is the last day. I was at phone for SS4 when my parents, both of them passed away. Since then, we've started life as orphans. The money that they giving it to us at the funeral, that was the money that we used in paying our fees and all things. Now the money has finished, so we were in the house. If we get, we eat. If we don't get, we stay like that. Tell me about your auntie. She is also good. She is taking care of the man and Margaret. She has been selling Gary and this and fried cocoa. So she too have been using the food stuff that she has been selling to take care of the two of them. Thank you so much for welcoming us into your home to return. Tell me about Rebecca. What is she to you? Uh, Rebecca is a mommy. What happened to her parents? Rebecca is a mommy. She is a mommy. Sorry I am not a good person. I am 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 a good person. I how did you feel when your auntie first broke the news to you, your father's death? I feel very sad and I even said I'll kill myself and I'm even going to hang myself and they came to take me off. You are going to hang yourself? Did you try to hang yourself or you just said it? Um, I've, I've tried it. What did you do? I took a rope and I went and hung it at a stick. Who were the people that stopped you from hanging yourself? That was my aunties. What did they tell you? They said I should stop, and God is the one who take care of human beings. When your mom and dad were around, what was it like? Life wasn't like this, because they are working. We are always happy because everything is set in the house. They be cooking for us, they buy us clothing, they pay our school fees. Everything that we need that we ask, they did for us. Why is your little brother, the one your mom had, when she, she passed? She, she's with my auntie at Kumasi. How long has he been away? He has gotten one year now. Have you seen him since he went? Yes. 
How, how many times have you seen him? Once. Only once? Yes. Do you miss him? Yes. Do you want to take care of him yourself? I can't take care of him because I'm not working. Do you think about your father? Yes. When you think about him, what goes through your mind? If I think about him, I will stay the whole day without eating. I will be crying in the room. Why? Because I miss him. What do you miss about him? When I was in the school, he always visited me a week, every week. He would tell me that he has missed me. So when I also lost him, I also always miss him. Is there anything you think about that brings a smile to your face when you think about your father? The only thing that brings smiles to my face is when he's singing. When he's singing? Did he used to sing? Yes. His favorite song is Mami ye ni ati ti fo mu ye o ne mami jo se na mu jo ni na mira misre wo mira misre wo de ni na se na pendi ko si fo mu de ni mu mira misre wo mira misre wo de ni na se na pendi ko si fo mu Anymore. What do you tell your, your younger uh, siblings? I told them that God is the one who will take care of us. So we should keep waiting to the Lord. Are they coping well now? Are they better? No, they are no more crying. And you say someone is in what year? Front two. He is now in front two. So he has one more year left? Mm. And you have no idea how to pay the fees? Yes. Because of that, sometimes. If not be eating, I'll be saving the money. How can they not eat? How do they make it through the day without food? Sometimes we, we just prepare guys. Sam, how's the going? How's school? It's, it's normal. What are you studying at school? Military science. And how is that coming along? Well, it's quite difficult. How is that? I don't have the books, textbooks to read. You know, so I don't have any money to attend extra classes. That will help me improve for my studies. So is this affecting your grades? Yes. Normally, how well do you do at school? First time I was ninth. And last time I was 19th. Amongst a class of? 52. Tell me about your sister, Rebecca. She has completed a vocational institute. Now she's in the house. There's nobody to help her continue. So right now she has been helping me in a certain woman in the market. What does she do for you? How is she supporting you? She has been helping by providing some of my needs. That's my pocket money and also food too. How are you coping with the death of your parents? Sometimes you may need the responsibility of your parents. And if you are not there to do that, I'll take you off your side. Touch your life. internet connection available, Africa can look at the world and the world can look at Africa. Hmm. Now let me show you how to get 3 million views. Live life real time with Airtel internet on 3.75G. Touch your life. Rebecca works in the market. It is frustrating for her as she is trained and capable of doing so much more. What do you do? How do you take care of your brothers and sisters? I have a friend at the hospital. 
her sister is also selling sandals and bags. So she went and told her sister that she has seen our situation. She wants me to be selling with her so that we should be getting something from her as our feeding money. We'll be traveling to Akate to sell. You will go four o'clock in the morning and you'll be coming 10 o'clock at night. I'll be working with her Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, market this. Always if I work with her, she gave me five CD a day. So that's the money that we'll be using to take care of our, ourselves. How do you manage five CDs a day? What do you do with it? We'll be using it to cook. What do you wish could happen to make your situation better? For me, I've attended vocational school. So I want to be making something like those things that they've taught us in their school so that I'll be using it to take care of them. What have they taught you in the school? We'll be cooking as they cook in the restaurant and hotel. And foreign foods, cakes, pies, rock bands. So I know how to prepare all of them. Are you good at that? Yes. And you would like to take up a business in that? Yes. What gives you the strength to carry that? I always cope on with the Bible, the readings in the Bible. What is in the Bible? Some say that even if your mother, the one who gave birth to you, have forgotten you, I, the Lord, will not forget you. I have written your names in my palm. Do you say that to yourself when you wake up in the morning? Yes. Do you tell that to your siblings? I always read it to them. Do you have dreams for your brothers and sisters? For someone, I want to see him as a doctor. Margaret as a nurse, Ima as a policeman. That's what my father always prays for when he's alive. How many children have had to suffer on a daily basis to put food on the table for the next meal? How many children have had to watch both parents lower to the ground side by side? How many people have had to give up their dreams for the sake of others? In the midst of all these tragedies, who would have thought that this singular person can stand all these traumas and still stand tall in dignity? Rebecca, you're truly a heroine of our time. Rebecca and her family joins us on Earth All Touching Lives. And, uh, Rebecca, introduce you. Welcome. How did you get by with so much on your shoulders? I did it by the grace of God. So, on occasions like Christmas, when everybody's getting new clothes and toys for their parents, how is life like for your family? We, we put on the old ones that our parents buy for us. Sometimes they will say that they won't go to the church, my sibling, because of the new clothes that they are not having. And how do your friends treat you when you go to school? Old clothes, old shoes. They look at us and they laugh. I'll tell you this, Rebecca, don't cry. Things will definitely get better. The Touch and Lives team wants you to know that there is something good to come of all this. Touch and Lives, at the educational package, at the and the the If you are Touch and Lives, you do not say, and for with a mom. So, you are the you are the friends. April. This is who I'm here. Now, where are the man not here? They were two. They are arrested and are not fast. How about you, Jimmy? Baby, that's right. Yeah, man, you, Jimmy? Baby, touching life set. We move here and you walk us around here. Come on. Can you trouble her? By his grace, then. Where any a day you are the man walk us our shop? Ah, yes, touching life. I don't know. Now we so that at the near me now we'll be here all the items you need to run a modern day eat you. Yeah my gas cylinder, how to be you man, yeah my seven plates, yeah my pants, ice chest, microwaves. Now yeah some of four burner ovens, yeah some of cutlery. 
Il y a des fridges. Oui, il y a un sacrément. Où est-ce qu'on sait? It's all by his grace. Oh. You know, you say, see, see, I'm not going to do it. I'm 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 going to do it. Two bedroom house for three years. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. I'm 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 going to do it. Because all our host is gone. But it's just by his grace, as is written. Even the Bible says, nobody takes care of orphans and grow poor. God will bless you now and forever. Amen. God bless you too. The entire family. God bless you. Never worry about the numbers. Help one person at a time. And always start with the person nearest to you. They may need it more than you think. What a show this one has been. Next week, we will be revisiting the traveling band and then later, the team travels between Accra and Esuochene in the Eastern region to catch up with the Cultivating Minds Foundation. Let's see you then. Airtel Touching Lives is proud to reward those who nominate us.